I mean, first of all, it's a <clears throat> important to appreciate that the Earth is almost entirely solar powered today, um, in the sense that the sun is the only thing that keeps us from um, being at roughly the temperature of cosmic background radiation, which is three degrees above absolute zero. If it wasn't for a sun, we'd be a frozen dark uh, ice ball. Um, and the, uh, the amount of so the amount of energy that hits the sun that reaches us from the sun is tremendous. It's it's over, it's the it's 99% plus of all energy that, that Earth has. Um, then there's, 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 there's this energy we need to use to run civilization, which to us is big, but compared to the amount of energy that reaches us from the sun is tiny. Um, so it, it, it's very easy, like it actually doesn't take much. If, if, you, if you wanted to power the entire United States with solar panels, um, it would take um, a put, a fairly small corner of Nevada, Texas, Utah, anywhere. Uh, look, you, it's, it, you only need about 100 miles by 100 miles of solar panels to power the entire United States. Um, and then the, the batteries you need to store that energy to make sure you have 24 7 um, uh, power is one mile by one mile. One, one square mile. <laughs> that's, that's, it. that's that's it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I showed the graph of the or, or image of this where uh, this is what 100 miles by 100 miles looks like. It's like you know, a little square on the U.S. map, um, and then one, there's a little pixel inside there, and that's the size of the battery pack that you need to support that. Real tiny.